Hello subscriber, it's me Cassidy Quinn. It is 11:25 p.m. So, pretty early for me. I'm sitting here in my bed with my Super Bowl 46 sweatshirt on and a spoonful of Funfetti aka rainbow chip frosting because what what more would you want in a snack? I just got frosting on my bed. Anyway, so today's beta topic, you know, doing the topic for once, uh is to give your opinion on something happening in the news today. So, I have an opinion on something. Have you guys seen the video of the girl? It's a security camera video. A girl in northern China is just walking down the street, texting on her cell phone, and falls into a sinkhole. She falls 20 feet underground into a sinkhole. A taxi driver driving by has to get out of his car and climb 20 feet down to save her. Meanwhile, the walls of the undergrounds of China are like closing in. Like if you've ever thought about digging to China, you probably would have found that girl somewhere along your way texting on her phone. Like, help, I'm in the ground. Tweet, tweet, whatever. So if you haven't seen the video, click uh, over here to go see the video from Mashable's website and it's it's pretty funny honestly when I first watched it I started laughing and then I realized wait I should make sure and watch the rest of this video to make sure she's okay because she just fell into the ground like have you ever just seen someone fall in the ground I've heard of quicksand I've heard of holes in the ground but I've never heard of a hole in the ground that no one can see and all of a sudden someone just falls through it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's not it's not funny. It's set. She could have gotten really hurt, but she is okay, as you'll see if you watch the video. So now that you guys have all seen the video, hopefully, I will tell you my opinion on this, which I've kind of already. So a lot of these news organizations that are covering this story are saying this is just another example of someone texting and being distracted and walking into something dangerous. Literally, in this case, walking into something dangerous, a sinkhole. But, you know, other times people walk into things or people get in car crashes because they are texting. And I totally understand that. I think that texting can be dangerous because your focus is on your phone and not on your surroundings where you should be looking if you are moving or if people could be moving towards you, possibly. Uh, however, in this case, I think even if this girl was not texting, she still wouldn't have been able to know that there is a hole in the ground that she can't see and that she's gonna fall into 20 feet underground. I personally don't think I would have been able to know because it's not, if you watch the video, which again, watch it if you haven't, if you watch it, you, you can't see that there's a hole coming. There's this like tiny little marker on the sidewalk, but there's no like big orange cone or caution tape or anything else that was signal. There's a 20 foot hole you're about to fall into. Be careful, people. Yeah, nothing, nothing to signal anything like that. So in my opinion, this is not an example of how texting is dangerous. This is an example of how you need to be clear with your signage and protect the people of China and wherever you are in the world if you are digging holes in the ground. Seriously, because otherwise we're all going to end up six feet under or 20 feet under in this case. So that's what I think about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Personally, well, before I tell you this, have you guys ever hurt yourself or almost hurt yourself texting or hurt somebody else or almost hurt somebody else texting? Personally, last night I was walking home from the gym, walking down the sidewalk, and I was texting or tweeting or something on my phone, do 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 and I almost walked into a mailbox, not like a small mailbox, like one of those huge like U.S. Postal Service like giant boxes on the street. Because so I wasn't paying attention, but almost is a key word there, and that would have totally been my fault, obviously. But uh, falling into a sinkhole wouldn't have been my fault, I don't think. So yeah, let me know if you guys have ever had any kind of experience like that uh, in the comments below. Or leave a video response and tell me dramatically, do a dramatic retelling of a time that you, hopefully, hopefully you're okay after you hurt yourself texting or almost hurt yourself texting. Um, but like I said, this is not meant to be a PSA. But yes, texting can be dangerous, but Mark... Your holes in the ground, people? Seriously. On that note, uh, good night to all. This has been another little episode of Veda. It is day, what was today? Day 25? We do not have many, very many days left, people. Not even a whole week. What? Good night.